search for one Swan Island. Hugo, Charlie, and Jack live with their parents next to a large lake. Hugo and Jack were boys, of course, but Charlie was a girl. Her real name was Charlotte, but the family usually called her Charlie a lot because those nose was shorter. The children lived in the countryside, so there were no cinemas or exciting skate parks in their home, and there were no concerts or festivals or restaurants to go to. But the three children didn't mind because we all loved sea sailing and they loved looking for the uh, sea monster. It's just a frog. them to swim and sing when they were very young. Hugo and Charlie were brilliant at sailing, but Jack needed mock practice. And we were on island in the middle of the lake. The children called it Swan Island because once, only once, they found a swan's nest there. The outfit sailed across the water to it. When I got to the island, they sometimes made a fire there and cooked meatballs or sausages. Some night, they stayed on the island in the father's old tent. They were never afraid to sail to the island by themselves or writing a distant where alone on dark, cold nights. While they were having breakfast last Sunday, the children decided to take a picnic to Swan Island. Hugo carried a backpack which was full of food, and Charlie and Jack carried everything else they needed down the steps to the water. It's quite windy today, isn't it? Jack said. Yes, but the wind's coming from the north. It's okay. Charlie whispered to Jack. Jack was the youngest and Charlie likes looking after him. She didn't want him to worry about anything or think that storm might come. The children took off the shoes and threw them in the boat. Then they carefully put the backpack on one of the seats and pushed the boat into the water. When the water came up on the knees, they jump in. They fold out of the sea, the children sail filled wind, and sailed the water out. Two blue boats flew over their heads and disappeared around the corner in the lake. That's unusual, thought Hugo, but he didn't say anything. And then something more unusual happened. The wind changed. It began to come from the west and suddenly got very strong. Hugo said, sit on the other side of the bow quickly. Jack did, but Jack didn't. And he fell into the water. Jack was quite good at swimming, but the waves getting higher every minute. Come on, Jack! Swim to the boat! You can do it! Charlie shouted. Jack tried and tried, but Hugo could see his younger brother was getting tired. He looked at Charlie. I don't want alone in a boat, he thought. But, but, then, laugh, Charlie shouted. Suddenly, and a huge pirate ship appeared with Paris one island. It was moving really fast. Hugo and Charlie could only see two pirates on a ship. Both pirates quickly jumped into the water and helped Jack get back into the children's sailing boat. All right now, Jack, they asked. Yes, 
I'm sorry for poking. Thank you so much, Jack said. The wind stops blowing so hard and change again. It's coming from the east. No, it's coming from north again, Hugo said. The tall part looked up the flag to see. And shot at her, put her finger up in the air to feel the wind. Yep, you're right, Hugo, they said together. Hugo wanted to ask the two pirates lots of questions. How did they sail the ship to the lake? The sea was too anti away. There were pirates. The ship was too big to only two people to sail. And how the pirates? No names, but Hugo kept quiet. We're going to have a picnic on Swan Island, Charlie said. Would you like to eat with us? Sure, Charlie, the shorty pirate said. We can bring our food as well. The pirate's food was different from the children's. We brought fat black olives and green slime and dried biscuits. Not everyone enjoyed the picnic. As they ate it, the pirates told the pirate shout and told the children some scary pirate stories. They all laughed and laughed. When it began to get dark, the taller pirate stood up, smiled, some of his teeth were missing, and said, we have to go now, but remember that if we suddenly change his path of west, strange things can happen. The pirates got into the children's boat, and because we know when now, Hugo started the engine. He took the pirates back to the ship, then he returned to the island. Quick, he said to Charlie and Jack. Let's run to the top of the hill to see where we go. The three children ran up and up the path through the trees to get to the top of Swim Island Hill. Then look north, south, east and west. But we couldn't see the ship anywhere. It disappeared, Charlie said. Yes, and I didn't ask my questions. Hugo said, Perhaps one day we can have some more fun with them, Jack said. Perhaps, Hugo said quietly. And each time after the day, when Hugo sailed to Swan Island, as a boy and as a man, he hoped to meet the pirates again. But he never did. Is it the end of the story? I want to do a pretty one video, and I think I did. This was one island, little boat. Children's house, the pirate ship, and the sea monster, the frog. <laughs>